Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna to show you how Robinhood paid me $24.82 inside of my Robinhood portfolio. I got to pay a total of eight dividends from seven different companies in my portfolio this month. So let's get into it, and I'm gonna show you how Robinhood paid me $24.82. All right, YouTube, so I'm going to show you which seven companies paid me a total of eight dividends. One of those companies paid me twice this month. So let's dive into my account right quick before I go over my dividends. Right now, I'm sitting at $14,581.23 on the day. This is the worst day I've had in a very long time. I'm down 4%, $610.06, and down $21.41 after hours so we started off this month pretty bad but at least i made almost 25 dollars last month free from dividends so that's passive income working for me and i could buy more stocks while the price is down if we look at my one week chart i'm down 574 dollars and 99 cents so as you guys could tell i was pretty much up the entire uh, week until towards the end of the week where it took a dive so we take a look at the one month chart i'm up two thousand seventy seven dollars and twenty one cents uh, my portfolio is up sixteen point six one percent of the last month so i had a pretty solid month i made over two thousand seventy seven dollars and plus the twenty five dollars worth of dividends from this month alone so a sixteen percent gain in one month uh almost twenty four percent gain if it wasn't for that four percent loss on the day so i had a solid month and we still got a long way to go before my portfolio fully recovered and I started making a big profit on my portfolio again due to the beer virus. And you guys know what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and get into my dividends. How much stock I own of each dividend in order to get paid $25 in a single month. Okay, so if we go into my history. We're gonna scroll over and click on dividends and look at the past 30 days. If we're taking a look at April, SPHD is the company that paid me twice in one month. The first time they paid me, it was a total of $3.77. On April 1st, they paid me out a total of $3.77. Amount per share was 15 cents per share. And at the time, I owned a total of 24 shares of SPHD. Right now, if we take a look at SPHD, um their price is 31 dollars and 81 cents so it's pretty it's at a great price right now to steal some and buy more shares i currently own 27 shares of sphd so i did buy some more shares and the average cost is 41 dollars and 20 cents so i was investing to sphd before the crash happened and the total return is i'm down 253 dollars from sphd but that's not including all the dividends that they have paid me out the entire year for me owning this so i'm pretty much going to make profit from sphd as long as i hold on and keep reinvesting into this company i will be able to grow my passive income portfolio okay so i had 24 shares of sphd at that time and then they paid me again this month on april 30th so they paid me on the first and the 30th kind of like working a job that's why i love this stock so much uh, a total of four dollars and six cents this time i had a total shares of 26 um shares they paid me a little list of 15.6 cents on the uh on the first of the month it was 15.7 cents so yes i did uh gain two shares and now i own even more shares i own 27 shares so i should get paid even more next month from sphd so let's move on to the next stock okay the next stock that paid me out was coca-cola it paid me out on april 2nd uh two dollars and 46 cents at the time i owned six shares of coca-cola and they paid out 41 cents per share this one pays out quarterly okay if we take a look at coca-cola their price is currently at 45 dollars and 60 cents i'm down 45 dollars and four cents on coca-cola down 14.14 percent with my average cost being 53 dollars and 11 cents so i i love coke i'm a, a supporter of coke i like the products um their market cap is nine 195 billion dollars i doubt that coca-cola will go bankrupt due to the uh, the beer virus because this is a company that's been through many recessions and many things just like this well not just like this but 
I'm pretty sure they have a, a, a stock of cash that was um, backed up just in case anything like this would happen. So Coca-Cola, I'm down 14.14%, but I did get paid out a total of 41 cents per share at six shares, which is $2.46. Okay, if we take a look at the highest paying one I had this month, which is AGNC, they paid me a total of $10.88. At the time, I own 68 shares of AGNC, paying out a 16 cents per share. Now, we take a look at AGNC. I went from 68 shares. Now, I own 80 shares of AGNC. So, I sold a couple of my other stocks to buy more of AGNC. Um, I'm currently down 15.1%, $172.38. The way that I'm accumulating AGNC. Uh, now that I have 80 shares, my next payout from AGNC should be a lot more than $10.88. So I'm actually loving AGNC. They paid out 16 cents per share at the time I owned 68 shares. This is a monthly paying dividend stock and they paid me out $10.88. If we take a look, AGNC is roughly around almost 6.7% of my portfolio diversity. So it's still under 10%. It's not a major part of my, uh, my dividend growth portfolio, and it's still paying me out over $10 every single month. So this is why I love AGNC. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna talk about is IIPR. This one, I have one share of this. It pays out a total of $1 um, per share. So I got paid out $1 dividends this month from IIPR. If we take a look at this, I'm not gonna talk much about this company because it's in a sector that you really can't talk about on YouTube. So um, I own a total of one shares. I'm down, oh, I'm up $1.35 and it paid me a dollar this month. So this company is profitable and it's also paying me out dividends. I might grab some more of this, but like I said, I'm not gonna talk a lot about this company. So let's go on into the next company that paid me dividends. Okay, so the next one is CTRE. It is a REIT. It paid me out a total of 25 cents per share and I own three shares at a time, paid me out 75 cents. If we take a look at CTRE, I am down $25.35, down 34%, almost 35% from CTRE. I'm thinking about selling it, but I need uh, REITs that's in this sector. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. Hopefully it recovers. If not, it's still under, it's not even 1% of my portfolio. So I might just hang on to it as my risky uh, REIT that I'm gonna have in my dividend growth portfolio. And hopefully it grows over time, it recovers and it starts to make me more money. But paying at 25 cents per share, I, th I think I'm gonna hold on until CTRE. Um, I have three shares paying out 25 cents per share, 75 cents this month. So let's move on to the last dividend stock that paid me this month. And that is Ticker Symbol O. If we take a look at ticker symbol O, this is also a monthly dividend stock paying out 23.3 cents per share, paying me out a total of 94 cents this month. At the time, I owned four shares of ticker symbol O, Realty Income. If we take a look at Realty Income, it is now at $51. My average cost is $65. I'm down 21%, but it's only 2% of my portfolio. But if we take another look at the shares, I added two more shares of O into my portfolio. So this being a monthly dividend paying stock, next month I should make even more from ticker symbol O back into my Robinhood dividend growth portfolio. All right, Robinhood. So I got paid out a total of eight times from seven different companies. I made almost $25 worth of dividends this month. It's not my highest month yet, and it's not my lowest month yet, but during these crucial times, uh that how america is right now getting paid passively completely through an app on your phone the 25 dollars from doing absolutely nothing is pretty amazing to me i'm going to reinvest those 25 dollars back into those stocks so i can make even more money in the long term and let the snowball effect take its course and turn this little snowball into a gigantic little snowman or something like that you know but um, other than that, if you guys were wondering what platform am I using, I'm using the Robinhood app. If you'd like to check that out, you can click the link down in the description. If you sign up using that app, you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. And then come back to this video down in the comment section and, and comment what free stock that you get from signing up using that link. 
But other than that, guys, um, I think I got a pretty big month coming up on my dividend portfolio. If you'd like to see how much I make next month, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.